good job. It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, we got to check out this latest WrestleMania video. WWE star R-Truth savagely rips CM Punk, Bray Wyatt, and Impact. Daniel Bryan tees and res uh, all other wrestling news. I'm really interested to see what R-Truth has to say. He's sending shots at CM Punk. Not sure why. We're going to check this out, man. But appreciate all the love and support on the channel. You guys have been amazing. Been blowing up the likes. Been blowing up the views. All that. Subscriptions. To subscribing to my channel. I thank you so much for that. And uh, let's get right into it. Shout out to WrestleMania. Y'all go subscribe to him. For all your wrestling news. He, he's pretty good at what he does, man. Now, first story looks at Bray Wyatt headed to Impact. Now, Bray Wyatt is one of the hottest free agents in wrestling following his WWE release, but, but where's he headed off to? While AEW seems to be the likely spot, as Dave Meltzer told the Sunday Night's Main Event podcast, I've heard things. I know Impact is really after him. From what I understand, there's certainly people in high places that are of the belief that he's coming. Yeah. Brian Alvarez explored the subject further during an episode of the Wrestling Observer Live saying, What I think I can safely say is I do not believe it is a guarantee that Bray Wyatt is going to AEW. Maybe he will, maybe he won't. To me, this is not like CM Punk where CM Punk was going to AEW and I'm like 99.999% sure that Brian Danielson is going to AEW. Mm -hmm. I would not say anything resembling that for Wyatt. I'm not going to say it's not- CM Punk definitely, uh... Definitely a hinted at that for sure. Not gonna happen. Maybe it will, but I'll put it as much less than 99.999% at this point. Now, although Impact's parent company Anthem Sports has the bucks to bankroll a Wyatt signing, would he be worth the cost? Impact Wrestling currently is lucky to break 100,000 viewers, and compared this to other shows like Dynamite and Raw, mm -hmm. it's still not even anywhere close. As noted in our previous news video, Impact Executive Vice President Scott Demore teased that Buddy Murphy and Braun Strowman are headed to Impact. Could Impact be looking to significantly grow its audience with these major signings? Well, the answer is yes, but the more relevant question is whether Wyatt and Strowman can help grow the audience several mm -hmm. times over. If not, what's the point of signing them? Next up, our truth takes a- And this is, this is the truth here, no pun intended. Um... I don't even watch Impact. I've never really watched TNA. I just never really cared too much about it. I know in the earlier years, a lot of people were, were, you know, enjoying it as the alternative to WWE, but I didn't really too much care about TNA. And now that is, you know, called Impact now, Impact Wrestling. Um, I don't know if they will move the needle that much. Maybe a couple more, you know, a couple hundred thousand more people would check out. But I don't think... It will move the needle that much. AEW is the the bigger player when it comes to ratings and you know people checking it out outside of WWE, and they're slowly but surely gaining more momentum and buzz. So I don't know. It'll be interested to see where they go. You know, maybe they do end up in AEW. That that would be another another nice little acquisition by them. Uh, AEW if they get Braun Strowman and um, Bray Wyatt. So we'll see. A major shot at CM Punk. This is it looks where like I'm the perpetual 24-7 champion R Truth isn't a big fan of CM Punk's work. Truth recently responded to comments wrestling straight edge superstar made in 2014 to Colt Cabana about his treatment in the WWE. Punk appeared on Cabana's podcast in 2014, complaining that he was white hot when the WWE decided to job him to Triple H and later the team of Awesome Truth, aka the Miz and R Truth. Truth commented on the clip saying CM Punk, you lost to me and The Miz because we were hotter than you. Sorry. And I never thought you were impressive at all. Just typical entitlement. Wow. Truth's comment shocked some fans as he's known for being laid back. Is this a case of Truth taking exception to Punk's comments or perhaps a case of WWE asking Truth to put Punk on blast? What do you guys think? Wow. Holy. Uh, I remember that feud. I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah, The Miz and R-Truth, they, they have their little little time in the in the spotlight they were really getting over you know as heels but um cm punk was the hottest thing at that point i didn't come back to watch wrestling for the miz and our truth it was a cool segment they had but i did not come back for them they weren't oh i'm sorry i am so sorry there's no way i can honestly sit here and, and utter those words and not like cringe a little bit and saying the Miz and our truth were more over than CM Punk at that time. No, no, 
No. And I like our truth. And I think Miz is good in the mid card role. He's a great, uh, you know, great promo. But no, no, I, I can't go that far. CM Punk teases Daniel Bryan in this AEW. I did watch. As noted in our recap, Punk teased Bryan Danielson coming to AEW. But that's not the only hint he made. He also posted a picture on Instagram of him when Wrestling News' Paul Davis speculating. Punk posted a photo of himself shaking hands with someone. The photo appears from the mid-2000s in Ring of Honor and it looks like it's Punk shaking Brian Danielson's hand. Mm. And while the leader of the Yes Movement is expected to appear at AEW's 22nd September Grand Slam show in New York City, the promotion could pull the trigger sooner. Next up, Punk sends a shout out to his wife. Mm -hmm. A Punk I also took the time well. to say hello to his wife, April Mendez, aka former superstar AJ Lee, which naturally led to fan speculation that she might show up in AEW in some capacity. She tweeted, wasn't expecting to hear my government name tonight. And finally, <laughs> Pat McAfee tests positive for COVID-19. Oh, no, the fans damn. will be seeing Pat McAfee on SmackDown this week as the Blue damn. Brand's color commentator has tested positive for COVID as he confirmed this in a tweet. McAfee showed a temperature reading of 104.5 degrees oh, Fahrenheit, no. which is downright dangerous. We like to wish McAfee a fast and full recovery, Damn. and we hope Michael Cole doesn't do commentary on his own. Come on, bring back the duo of Triple H and Michael Cole. It's guaranteed to be a just a funny night with them two alone. But there you have it, guys. Hey, man, I'm wishing a speedy recovery to Pat McAfee. Having a temperature that high can be lethal, so I am praying for him. Wish him a speedy recovery. I hope you guys do as well. Uh, if you guys know, we was dealing with some COVID issues ourselves. That's why we weren't recording as much on In The Clutch page. But we're back. Everybody's good. Everybody's safe for now. So, hey, man, COVID is a real thing. Just make sure you take care of yourself. If you want to take the vaccine, cool. If you don't, just make sure you're protecting yourself, your family, and your loved ones. And your neighbors, too. Yeah, you know, your everyday people that you're around. Try to protect yourself. But, yeah, man, um... Yeah, this was an interesting video. I enjoyed this very much. Uh, yeah, I disagree with your hard truth. Sorry, buddy. That's no. <laughs> that's that's not it, man. Uh, you was not more over than CM Punk. There was no one as hot as CM Punk at that time. Like I said, I did not come back to watch wrestling for The Miz and our truth I came back because of CM Punk's epic pipe bomb. Dead ass. Actually, I want to say... On the pipe bomb, correct me if I'm wrong, John Cena was going against R-Truth. They were having a little, they, he was going against R-Truth. I think they were having a little mini feud. I think he was doing a little Jimmy stuff segment. And that, he ended up putting John Cena through a table or whatnot. Because I think it was like a, a tables match or something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong. And that's when CM Punk dropped the promo. Correct me if I'm wrong, R-Truth was in that match. And I'm sorry. Sorry, CM Punk became more over with that promo and it just went to heights just astronomical. So I like our truth I like the Miz, but y'all definitely was y'all smoking on something strong if y'all thought y'all was more over than CM Punk at that time. No. But comment down below, let me know. Do you guys agree with me on that one? Am I wrong in that and saying CM Punk was way over? Than the Miz and R Truth, or am I off by that? Hey, right, let me know down below. I really want to get your thoughts and opinions on that. Appreciate all the love and support. Roll to 50. I keep saying 50. I'm so used to saying 50. Roll to 60K. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.